softly calling. I hear his voice, it's echoing. In the darkest dark of the night, my peace, I leave with you. His words are echoing. My burden is light. I remember reading by night as a young man, managing to get by as if I had a plan, even though I was in a frying pan about to get mixed into this melting pot of twisted worldviews that all missed it. I was a broken cistern of a system of religion, and even though it was dressed in Jesus, I could have never envisioned what I had been freely given because I had been given freedom, but like everyone else, I treated it like fiction. So I never really bothered to listen. So I stood there feeling like a sick contradiction, knowing that God had given me a voice and that God had called me one of his children. I understand now why I felt lost. It was a supernatural conviction because I am a pilgrim and this world is not my own and neither am I. I was bought with a price and something clicked on the inside and I realized he was saying, my peace, I leave with you. My child, you are standing in my might. Come on. Come close. Get cozy. Come bathe in renewing, healing light. Come on. Settle down. It will be all right. I love you so much, he says, especially with your heart contrite. And contrary to what you might be feeling, I am with you, he says. So I called out to him in my distress. Jesus, precious Savior, Master, Redeemer, friend, brother of everyone whom through your love you have grafted in, I am seeking you by faith through your grace. And I am so thankful that you will never turn away your face. And I am so grateful that my life is at your pace. Softly calling, I hear your voice. It's echoing, it's whispering. So in stillness, I wait for you, my God knowing that in the noise, it's hard for me to hear your voice. So in stillness, I wait for you. And I'm waiting for your voice to break through. And I'm praying expectantly, not worried about what the world expects of me because I have been decked and double-checked by double-minded people who have stepped all over this temporary tabernacle you have given me. But I've been wrecked by you and filled with your glory. And I recognize your joy for me, so I don't care what the world thinks of me, I don't care, because there is none who can compare. Quietly I hear the Spirit teach with rare and radiant wisdom. I'm deeply feeling this inner healing with all my sins laid bare and then some. I know my brokenness doesn't offend Him, because it's His joy to renew my life. I know, because He is walking onward through my mind, and He is purging all of the dark and broken parts and he is urging me constantly and loving me always and he is renewing and mending my frighteningly fractured heart my god your love is a song it's more beautiful than even every description of you in the psalms billowing from head to toe are your rolling waves of healing balm soothing tranquil ever caring peaceful, lasting, calm. Upward I'm reaching and downward it's flowing. His grace and mercy strong. He's lifting, easing the weights of sin so I don't cling to any remorse and I don't worry about where I've been or of any burdens crushing force. Jesus is leading me to where he came from. He's leading, he's taking point. He's leading me to his holy kingdom. Zion, with him I'm straightly sailing this course. Oh my king, pull me a little closer and love me wild. Just a little closer each moment. Softly calling, I hear your voice, it's whispering, it's echoing. Take heart, take courage. God is most glorified when we are most satisfied in him. And as a deer pants for water, so my soul thirsts after him. Offer yourselves as living sacrifices, and he will fill you with himself to the brim. In my Father's house, there are many rooms, he says. So come rest your head. You can rest and reset right now, in this moment, in me, fully. We perceive in part now, yes, but one day, with unveiled faces, we will see and enjoy spacious places in eternity.